When it comes to ArcGIS, I can not only work with powerful geoprocessing tools, charts, Python, R, separately, but I can entwine them together to work with one another to create powerful and thorough analysis workflows. And now, with the R ArcGIS Bridges support for raster data, the possibilities for integration span all data types. To see what's possible, let's dive into this model. To begin, I have a sample of locations where African Cape buffalo have been observed in South Africa. Since these buffalo are important ecologically and economically, I'm going to be using ArcGIS and R to determine a location to establish a new conservation region. A key part of this workflow is to use ArcGIS to determine an appropriate study area and to obtain the most accurate and globally comprehensive spatial data from ESRI's ecological land units regarding the environment and climate to learn the buffalo's ecological preferences from. All of these can serve as inputs to my model. ArcGIS's spatial analyst tools can then be used to clean and prepare my data before passing the resulting raster layers into R via a script tool to perform what is known as an ecological niche factor analysis. With the bridge's support for raster data, I can not only pass in multiple raster layers to R, but any ArcGIS-supported raster data type, including mosaics. The bridge provides functionality to not only convert these rasters into R-recognized raster objects, but also to manipulate. I can use built-in bridge functionality to do things like make a selection, to resample, to adjust my scale, spatial reference, and more. And once in R, I can take advantage of any R function or package, enabling me to find cutting edge research methods and field specific analyses, like my ENFA analysis here. And I can take my resulting prediction raster on how preferable each location is to the buffalo in my study, and I can write it back to ArcGIS. To finish, by using the ArcGIS Locate Regions tool, which will take my prediction raster, and it will use it to find a new and non-overlapping area to be considered as a conservation region. The benefits of the bridge are not just limited to those with our experience. All of this powerful functionality can be shared with and used by anyone in your organization.